Yep, October 17th. Where am I at? Yeah, 50, 50 degrees right now. About 50 degrees right now. Oh, in the garage, it's that. About 45. So, I'm dressed for it. I got my winter coat and all that good stuff. Before we take off, I want to show you a couple of things. <clears throat> First off, I wheeled and deal because I always like to do that. Trade it. Well, I kept these. These are the highway pegs. I kept them. And I also bought new shifter pegs. These were the ones I had on. Don't get me wrong. I, I like them. They're very nice. But they don't match the floorboards. And, well, you know, it's got to. So we're back in July. I finished off with, um, it might have been June, finished off with that. Before that, I did a video on that. This is called the Nostalgia and the brake pedal. So now what I have is the shifter pegs that match. I should have bought them back then, but uh, I had another set. So turns out <clears throat> I was better off just to buy these ones. And these are the ones that go with the set. <clears throat> and there are the new, well, not brand new, they're used, but I wheeled and dealed on those, those highway pegs. So I really like those. I didn't want to give up the other ones. I had some others that I knew I was never going to use. So I did a little wheeling and dealing and traded in two sets of uh, shifter pegs and two highway pegs. And got those ones. Like I said, those ones are used, but that's okay. Now, one other thing I want to show. Oh, I need to tell you this, though. So, um, I called the dealership in Windsor. Harley, dealer, uh, was it Thunder Road. And I said, okay, I want to buy the shifter pegs. And they checked their inventory. And none to be found. I said, what about Rockies in London or Blackbridge in, in Cambridge and whatever? He searched all of Ontario and could not find these. So I told John, I says, can you do me a favor? Check the inventory across the board. He was like, there's got to be some somewhere. So he put me on hold for about five minutes and he came back and he says, well, there's one pair left, maybe two, but one for sure. At um, Mountain View Harley Davidson in Van, well, outside of Vancouver. Uh, what did he call it? Um, Coquitlam. That's it. I don't know. The address here says Chilliwack. There we go. So, Chilliwack. Mountain View. There's the guy. He's the guy that helped me out. So, I asked him. If I give you my credit card, can you just ship them to me? And he goes, yeah, I can do that. I said, hell, giddy up, let's do it. So he shipped them to me for 20 bucks, and they got here in about five days. And if there is one more pair to be had, it'll be in Chilliwack, because that was it. The dealership could not find them. There might have been some in the state somewhere, but... Oh, it's so hard to get any, they shipped across the border anymore with delays and everything else. So, you know, like everything's COVID bullshit this and COVID bullshit that. So, anyways, so that just made my day. I know it's a little thing, but it completed, completed the set, right? So now, last year, I got, I've got a couple of pair of winter riding gloves, but they're only good for about... 45 degrees and then even after an hour you can start feeling it so i decided i went for the first time ever and i mean i've ridden uh when it's 32 degrees outside as long as the roads are dry but for the first time ever i bought heated gloves on sale for 85 bucks read the reviews got really good reviews so 
I bought them. I actually bought two pair because I didn't know if I need a large or a medium. Turns out I need the large because, you know, I guess China has small hands. I don't know. <laughs> so, what the hell are they made anyways? Uh -huh, not here, that's for damn sure. So, I'm going to test them out today because right now, like I said, temperature is about 45. Going up to about 52, 53. But on the highway, that's going to feel about 32, 33. So, I am going to plug them in. No, I'll wait till I put them on. Because I'm not going to start with them. I'm going to put them on in about an hour from now. I might take you out there with me before I take. Go too far. So, yeah, I'm going to try them out. So, we'll just throw them. Now, for all I know, like I charge them all up. They work great. So, for all I know, maybe the battery's already gone dead. No. So, I got my other winter gloves. So, it'll be okay for that. Well, these are the ones. They're not heated. They do a pretty good job. But once you get below 50, they don't do a good Nothing does a good job. So, anyways. So, I'm going to put the bike out. In the driveway, let it start up. Because you know, you got to give it about 10 minutes. Stay. Good enough. So, uh, Oh yeah, it's gonna be a cold one today. But the sun's shining, so that'll be it for a while. probably pull over later on add a little bit more to this so yesterday's video you saw I helped Rick put that pad. he did most of the work actually um, last week when I got there half the tubing was already assembled the front and the ends and the middles and then when I went back yesterday he all like we put all that together yesterday. He already had the uh, the vinyl cover, like the front and the back. So, like I said, he did most of the work. But try to do this by yourself, be there forever, you know. So, overall, though, went up, went really well. So now I'm going to take off, go for a little scoot. Probably, uh, probably come back with you a little bit later. But for now. Time for some wind therapy. Another Corona ride. All right, catch y'all later. 
There we are. It's about 52 degrees outside. That truck stop outside Tilbury. So I think what I'm going to do, I am going to put my uh, my new gloves on. Shoot down the shoot down the highway on the 401. Better better way to test them is in 30 degree weather, but at 52 degrees and 65 miles an hour, it's going to feel more like 35 or 40. So. <clears throat> That's it for now. There we go. All right, back from my right. See, back home. Here's the lowdown on the gloves. They work really well, as advertised. The only thing is, they tell you you're supposed to charge them up the day before the morning of when you're going to ride. And I charge them up about ten. Yeah, about 10 days ago. So, they ran out on me. But before they did, even on low, plenty of heat. So, if it was about 40 degrees, yeah, I would have been running them at about medium heat. But, no, they were good. They were really good. So, um, this is my cold weather helmet. When, it's, when it starts getting cold, full face. So... Uh, nice ride though. Now she's getting cloudy. Uh, oh wow. It's October 17th. So, gloves are definitely worth it. 85 bucks off Amazon. They're regularly $100. So, I will charge them up and make sure they're ready to go next time on a full charge. Oh. Oh. There we are. Oh. There's a charger there. Okay. So that does a, yeah, that about does it for the day. I'm going to get my wood. On the floor ground there, so. Oh. And call it a day for now. Lots of little things to do still. So. This is why I want a new door. Things heavier than hell. You chop down the top panel. See, I have to cut out that section of ceiling. And I'm not sure if I, I want to go into all that shit. So, meanwhile, yeah. Get the battery tender out. Where are we at? There we go. Yeah, look at the ceiling. Beautiful. There we go. All done up. Yeah. Good ride today. So. Catch y'all on the flip side. Next time we're, uh, 
Yeah, next time Rick and I go out, I think I'll uh, I'll film it. I'll get him and I riding. So I'm gonna try something new. Meantime, I'm out of here. <laughs>